And for the Lord Jesus, a wonderful round of applause. Brothers and sisters, we are going to have a wonderful service, a service with blessings. And I want you to participate in this service now, paying attention to one thing, listening to what the Lord has to say through his holy word to all of our hearts. Why does God want this? Because when a person understands the revelation that he brings, the person receives along with the revelation the power that God uses to operate in their lives. And then it all becomes easy for the Lord to operate miracles. Because with this power, all you need to do is assume your position in the Holy Word in the name of Jesus and become blessed in the name of God. Today, I am sure that we are going to see some glorious things by the Lord that will happen in your life. And to get started, let's take a look at what happened at one of our services. Play the first testimony for me now. For two years, I have been feeling pain in my ankle, doctor, when I sit down. I have to get up little by little. It hurts so much. And how were you and able to walk? And the pain right over here in this area. And how were you able to walk, sister? I had to walk, to walk with a limp. I had a Show problem. us how you walked. I Show walked us like how this. you walked I got before. Up like this. Look, doctor. Now you're healed? Now thank God so I'm healed. So keep on walking because the Lord Glory has delivered to God. you today. Praise the Lord. Amen. Go, 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 sister. Oh, glory to God. How about we applaud Jesus right now? Oh, glory to God. Listen, you can be certain that God wants to do the same thing in the lives of everyone here that is suffering. So let's stay connected so we don't miss a second of what God is going to do in the name of the Lord Jesus. I have a message that I want to study with you right now in the beginning of the program. It's from the book of Ephesians chapter 2. My friends, in Ephesians chapter 2, verse number 13, God uses the Apostle Paul to tell us this. But now in Christ Jesus, you who once were far off have been brought near by the blood of Christ. What is God saying in this passage, Dr. Suarez? Everything happened, everything good for man happened when God sent Jesus to earth. Jesus came to the world to take our place at the Calvary cross. He took all of our sins. He died for us on the cross. He paid the price and suffered everything that we were supposed to. And he has done all of this. Now the Apostle Paul is saying that in this present time, that is today, but now in Christ Jesus, you who once were far off. We didn't have that right. No one had that right. Why? Because Adam, the first ever human being, then Eve and they became a couple, they committed a sin. And with the sin that Adam committed, mankind was separated from God. It was very far away. It had no right to the blessings. It had no right to, to speak to the Father, listen to the voice of God. It was simply separated from God because of the stain that sin brought. And God is perfectly holy and pure. But then Jesus came and took away that stain, that sin. So then with that, we are no longer far away from him. This is what God is saying. We are now closer to him. We are no longer far away from our Lord. We can cry out to him and he will surely hear us. We can rebuke all evil and this evil will be gone. And we are able to demand that every one of the forces of evil that disturb us will get out of our lives and all the forces of evil will be gone. This is the entire truth today. Therefore, I am inviting all of you at this exact moment to start having faith with me because God is right by your side. You have gotten closer to our Lord. He has gotten closer to you in Christ Jesus. So we will pray in the name of Jesus so that all this evil will retreat and never come back again. Let's speak to the Lord now. God, I am entering in the name of the Lord Jesus into your holy presence. In favor of these people that have come here for the first time or for the hundredth time, it doesn't matter. For those who understand a little or understand a lot about your will, my Lord, those who don't understand anything, we are all now closer to you. And these people are now prepared to touch you. And I ask that you touch them also because I am going to use your authority to send all evil away. And I say to you now, forces of evil, you who are oppressing these people, today is the day that you leave. This is the moment that you will gather everything that is yours and get out of these people's lives. All your illnesses and your pain, your disturbances, all your suffering, get out right now in the name of Jesus. And we all say, Amen. 
Oh, glory to God. Look, folks, our God is good, and he wants to do many miracles. And with each miracle that happens, like the one that happened to that woman who walked badly and suddenly started working well, the Lord doesn't need a lot of time to operate. He only needs the time that you are going to give him, which is your time of faith. In that exact moment, in a tiny millimetric fracture of a second, he can operate in your life. Let's take a look at one more person that was blessed. Take a look, please. What happened, sister? Dr. Suarez, I have a problem in this leg. For how long? Oh, it's been for about 30 years. 30 years? How did you walk with this leg for 30 years? I walked very slowly, Then show doctor. us how you walked before. I walked like this, doctor. Like this? Walk normally in the name of Jesus. 30 years, folks, that's a generation. And why did this happen to her, folks? Because she went close to God. Today, God has brought you closer to your blessing. If you don't strive for it and don't believe, you will be further from the blessing because you also need to do your part to get closer. We've already gotten close. All you need is faith. The moment you have faith, the blessing will appear. Some people had their blessings right next to them their whole lives and suffered. So let's trade the suffering for the blessings that the Lord has given us because God will bless us today. Amen, brethren? The gospel of God is not a religion. The gospel of God is a Greek word that means good news. Preaching the gospel of God is telling people what Jesus did in favor of humanity, just like we have seen today, that in him we are getting closer. This is the good news of the Lord. You are now within reach of the blessings of God. And when you have faith in him, you can extend your hands and get whatever you need from him. We can only do that through faith. We receive it through faith. Many people are healed at the exact moment. Other people are healed later on. When the Lord Jesus was here on earth, God sent him here with the power to heal the wounded, expel all the demons, and to do the complete work, and Jesus did that exactly. But Jesus' work was, it was much greater than the capacity that Jesus had physically because he was limited to a normal human body. So he could only operate and help people where he was physically present. So let's take a look at the ninth chapter of Luke. Uh, in verse number one, it says, Then he called his twelve disciples together, and gave them power and authority over all demons and to cure diseases. The first 12 disciples received the power over all demons and to cure diseases. He sent them to preach the kingdom of God and to heal the sick. And in verse number six, it reads, So they departed and went through the towns, preaching the gospel and healing everywhere. My brethren, this was the will of God that is not only being manifested in the, in the life of Jesus, but also through the lives of those 12 apostles that he sent two at a time, and they would precede Jesus in all of the cities, villages, and tribes that he was going to arrive at. They were already announcing and doing the work of the Lord. And they went on and healed lives in many places. But why? Because the Lord had given them the right power so that they could perform the same exact work that Jesus was doing. In chapter 10, this is chapter 9, the following chapter, we find out that Jesus also set another group and it says the following. After these things, after Jesus sent the twelve, the Lord appointed seventy others also and sent them two by two before his face into every city and place where he himself was about to go. Listen to this. He was giving instructions. And in verse number nine it says, And heal the sick there and say to them, The kingdom of God has come near to you. Jesus was not trying to begin a new kind of religion. He never did that because there is no religion that was founded by Jesus. Jesus was actually concerned about that and interested that people heard the gospel of God, the good news of the Lord, and one of the reasons that he was here. And if they began to believe in him, they needed to pray to use the power of God, his holy name, and all of the demons would be expelled and all of the illnesses would become healed. This was for the 12 disciples. For the other 70 people, he only ordered to heal those who were sick. And he said this in verse number nine, and heal the sick there and say to them, the kingdom of God has come near to you. The Lord wanted them to have a different experience with him that the first 12 had because the first 12 had received the authority from God to expel all kinds of demons. The other 70 did not. They could only heal those who were sick. But God's authority is much greater than we can ever imagine. 
And he can do anything against the enemy, my brethren. So here in this very same chapter, verse number 17, it reads, Then the seventy returned with joy, saying, Lord, even the demons are subject to us in your name. When they would go and pray for those who were sick, there were some cases that the person was possessed by an evil spirit, my brethren. And those evil spirits, they would manifest themselves and those 70 would expel them. Nowadays, when we pray for those who are as sick, many times we run into people who have been suffering for many years. They were the victim of some sort of witchcraft or a spell, some sort of black magic, or they got involved in those things. And those entities that bother them do not want to leave those people by themselves empty. Now they, will, they consider themselves owner of those people, but they're not. Why don't they own them? Because through the blood of Jesus that was shed, we have been brought closer to God. We are no longer far away from God. All those who really want it will find deliverance for their lives. The moment we start to believe, the power of the Lord begins to operate and does the work. So those 70, they were sent to heal those who were sick, preach the gospel of God and heal the sick. But when they went to pray for those who were sick, they discovered that the name that sent all the sickness away was so powerful that the demons and also all of the evil spirits were expelled. Today, many people are being healed from hallucinations, people with very serious mental problems, people who hear voices in their heads, who see figures, whose lives are a complete mess. And even though they are hard workers and they are honest and they are dedicated, they simply will not begin to prosper. They can't even find peace inside their own homes. These people are extremely worried. What am I going to do? How am I going to be delivered? Brothers and sisters, everything has to be done in the name of Jesus. And I will say it again, the Lord Jesus with his own blood that was shed on Calvary Cross has brought us closer to the Lord. We are right next to the Lord. Lord God, all we need to do is believe in him, open our mouths like the Holy Word of God teaches us, cry out for the Lord's mercy in our lives, believe in him, and God can change the situation. You may be going through a difficult situation, even though you may have understanding of the Word of God. But Dr. Suarez, I feel a dissatisfaction deep down inside my heart. You have to cry out to God. God, everything in my life that does not come from you has to be destroyed. I demand that all of these things are gone from my life. And when you have faith, the power of God begins to work and wonderful things will happen. That's how the 70 went back with joy. Lord, in your name, even the demons submit them, submit themselves. They have no, con no condition to remain standing. They get out. And Dr. Suarez, what about us in our days? Where is it written in the Holy Word of God, the guarantee that we can do the same in our days? Because he sent first 12 and then later on he sent 70 and in Mark chapter 16 in verse number 15 and 16 it reads and he said to them go into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature he who believes and is baptized will be saved but he who does not believe will be condemned and these signs will follow those who believe in my name they will cast out demons they will speak with new tongues. They will take up serpents. And if they drink anything deadly, it will by no means hurt them. It's a command of God. We are close, and when we cry out to God, we don't have to scream out loud, but we have to cry out with all of our heart. The Lord God answers us, and his power comes into our lives. In the book of John 14, 12, this study is very short, but it is also very important. The Lord Jesus speaks in the following manner. The Gospel of John, chapter 14, and we will read verse number 12. Let's read it together. Most assuredly, I say to you, he who believes in me, the works that I do, he will do also. And greater works than these he will do, because I go to my Father. So today is the day for us to believe and receive the blessing from God. I'm going to pray now for your lives. I'm going to pray now for those with problems in their bodies or in their souls. Dr. Suarez, I'm feeling pain in my entire body. It's in the joint, it's in the back, pain in the leg or the knee, or you have pain in your ankle, maybe in your spine or in any place in your head or deep in your soul. But what is pain in the soul? Maybe you are sad, troubled, upset, desperate, afflicted, 
or maybe you're even hurt and you are thinking of doing something which is not good for you. Who knows, Dr. Suarez, as if there is a gray cloud over me and ruling my life. I don't have, I don't have control over my life. It's as if I am, I am troubled and in no man's land. So let's send all this evil away now. Do you want me to pray for your life now? If you have a problem in your body or your soul, stand up where you are because I'm going to pray for you right now. Now is the time for God to do his work. The moment that I am praying and call upon the power of God over your life, just believe. And when I finish praying, don't take a seat yet. Wait for a couple of minutes because God will be working and performing many wonders here. And if you received your blessing, give your testimony so that the devil will not annul your work, the work of God in your life and your work in the Lord. Bow your head and close your eyes now. That's it. Hold on to your faith because God will do his work in your life right now. God, I am coming before your presence in the name of the Lord Jesus. In favor of all of these people, God, we have a foundation so that we can talk and also be heard by you. Your holy word tells us that we get closer, closer to Christ Jesus because of his precious blood. Therefore, we are not distanced from you. You don't have to travel millions, okay, kilometers in order to bless our lives. Father, manifest your power in the lives of these people. Heal the sick. Deliver those who are oppressed. Bring peace to the life of this person who is anguished, distressed, troubled, hurt, disappointed, and who is feeling sad, my Lord. They're depressed. They're feeling down. God, I am going to bless this life right now. I'm going to make use of the authority that you have given me and this evil that is in the intestines. This person has lost control over their intestines. They lost control of their bladder. Oh, dear Lord, they have lost control over their mind. They have useless thoughts all the time. They have no more control over their health. They have pain all over their body. God, do your work now. As a minister of the word of God, I paralyze all work of the devil in the lives of these people. And I command right now, evil spirit, I bind you at this moment. In the name of Jesus, take all that belongs to you, your pain, your infections, your inflammation, sequela due to an accident, caused by a surgery or caused by a stroke or any other affliction. And let go of this person right now. I'm giving you an order. I am not asking you right now. In the holy name of the Lord Jesus Christ, I say now, go away, demon. Go away, infirmity. Go away, all evil. In the name of the Lord, amen. Look at me now. Those whose arms were hurting. Dr. Suarez, it was hurting a lot. I couldn't lift up my arm, both of my arms. So lift up both of your arms now. Don't be afraid. You can do it. And clap your hands up high like this. Look. Go ahead and do it in the name of Jesus. If you couldn't lift up your leg. Dr. Suarez, I can lift up my leg. I can bend it too. Those who couldn't squat, go ahead and squat right where you are in the name of Jesus. Don't be afraid, folks. Bend down in the name of Christ. If it hurt to move your body or you couldn't move your neck, you couldn't look to the right, look to the left, or even raise your head, maybe you couldn't open and close your hands. Do it now then. Search for your pain. Dr. Suarez, I have received my healing just now. Who can say this has happened to them, that the evil has left their life? Raise up your hand like this. What happened, sister? My back over here, doctor. I hit my back here and hurt a lot. I came here with pain in my ribs. How long now, have you had pain in the for ribs? For about two days, doctor, that it's And hurt. now it's gone? Now it's gone. Oh, I can't move God. my Amen. arm. It's gone. Over by the red flag, what happened I had to a you? really strong pain. It felt like my forehead was going to explode. Is it now gone, gone now? Now let's take a look at the left side here. Up here in front, what happened? I had a lot of pain in my spine and also my bladder. Pain over here a little bit also. And now? And now, thank the Lord, it's gone. It's gone. 
up there on the balcony, what happened? My arm was hurting a lot, Dr. Suarez, and now after you prayed, the pain went away. Back there, what happened to you, my sister? Disturbance in my mind, doctor. My mind was being disturbed a lot, but thank God it's stopped. In your it's mind, over. but you've been delivered Thank now? God. Oh, what a beautiful thing. And you, sister? I have been feeling a lot of anguish these past couple days, but thank God it's gone. Amen. Up here in front, there's a man here. What happened to you? I couldn't. I couldn't move like this with my with my hand because my arm was tingling up to here. And now and it's how, all gone in the name of Jesus. How long have you had that? I've had this for about two months. Two months, and it's now gone Now it's gone now. in the name of Jesus. That sister over there in the corner in the back, what happened? It has been a while that I have been suffering from pain in my foot, tendonitis, but now, thank God, I have been healed in the name Amen. of Jesus. Amen. My friends, you are very close. You're getting very close. Have faith. What happened to you, sister? I was very concerned. And now you have peace of mind? Yes. Amen. That other sister, a what happened? A lot of disturbance in my mind. Did it disappear? Now it's disappeared. It's all There are gone. a lot of people here, and you guys seem to be a little bit shy. Let's testify to the truth. How about you, sister? Doctor, I recently I went through a surgery, right? Mm -hmm. And you know, I was at home and I felt a lot of pain, but I came today, right? I had I had to do a I had tumor dysplasia and mm -hmm. I had to undergo surgery about two weeks ago and today I came here feeling a lot of pain. It felt heavy. But now it's all gone. It's oh, over. Glory to God, yes. this is beautiful. What happened to you, sister? Doctor I felt a strong anguish, a lot of sadness. I only felt like crying and forget everything, but now I'm feeling much better, thank God. Amen. Look at how many wonderful things. Our brother back there, what happened? I was home. I was feeling pain in my heart and a lot of anguish, and I jumped off the, the, the terrace, and I came here by bus today. And when I got here, I was kind of sad, but God has spoken to me, and now my heart is at peace. Praise the Lord. Isn't that beautiful, Our Lord folks? Jesus Christ. So if you didn't jump off the terrace, you wouldn't have gotten if here. If I had been reading the Bible, I would have been okay, but I was yes, sad, and then God touched me. Yes, but now Jesus has blessed you, yes, brother. Yes, he blessed me in the name of what Jesus. What a beautiful Praise thing. the Lord. Yes, this is important. How about you, sister? Depression. It has been four months that I can't sleep, you know, but I am, but I'm sure that that I will Did you sleep. feel the life and I joy returning it. to you, sister? I felt it. See, this I felt is what it. God wants. Now that we are closer, you are closer. The evil in you is going to leave now. Raise your hands up with faith and take possession of your blessing. What happened to you? I had a headache. Now it's gone. Oh, glory to God. Way over there in the back next to the red flag. Hello, Dr. Swatis. <laughs> I had a really strong uh -huh. stomach ache and there was no way I could sleep. After you prayed, it went all away. How long have you had this problem, sister? Oh, it has been about 15 days now. I think I'm going into labor. <laughs> <laughs> oh, glory to God. <laughs> but are you, expect, are you expecting a child? It is the blessing of God. So may this child come into the world blessed in the name of Jesus. Don't stop, brothers my food, and sisters. My foot, I had a problem in my ankle. I couldn't even put it on the ground. Now I did a test drive and I <laughs> can't put it normally on the floor. You drove your foot. You just did a test drive. There's a lady up here in front. Her... Let's see what happened to her. What happened to you, sister? I got up and this woman brought me because I had so much pain in my legs that I can't bear to walk. There was no way. And these two young ladies brought me here. Too much pain, too much pain. How long have you had oh, this evil how sister? Long? I think about two months now. And I'm going to the doctor, but they can't find anything. These two young ladies said, let's go there. God is going to deliver you and you'll be able to walk again. And I didn't want to come. I felt like lying down on the ground here. So much pain, and I couldn't walk at all. I just couldn't walk. How were you walking before, sister? I Show us right like now. This. Show us because we want to see. Pretend that Jesus hadn't healed you yet. Show us. How did you come here walking, sister? Show us. I walked like this. Yes. Very slowly. And in my house, too. Did it hurt a lot? Oh, the pain was unbearable, doctor. So now start walking normally in the name of Jesus. How about now? Oh, now it's not hurting anymore. What? And I've had this pain in my neck here. So you also have pain in your neck? No, or is it I've gone? had this pain for a while. You already now. had it. Yes, this pain and right over here. And it's not gone away yet? No, it didn't. Oh, I think it's gone. No, but the pain in the leg is gone. <laughs> I think it's gone now. It doesn't hurt <laughs> let, anymore. Yes, sister, let but me explain my something to you. Here. Let me explain something to you. Our Lord God did not leave you. He's right by your side. Walk faster over here to the front now. Walk a little faster. 
Oh, I couldn't even bear to go home. I felt like lying down <laughs> over there and stay here. How about you forever. and the cameraman become friends so he will let you pass? Because I want you to come over I here, sister. I couldn't bear to come here. How about now? Walk for us. Walk a little bit faster. Oh, now That's I can the way. walk. Praise the Lord. There's also no way. So bend I could down bend now. Down. Do everything that do everything you couldn't do before. <clears throat> Look at that, folks. Oh, glory to God. Praise the Lord. Keep walking, sister. Keep walking because the Lord is operating in your life. And how about that pain in your neck? Is it gone? Here. It hurts only a little bit now. It only hurts a little? Walk a little more then because you're going to become healed. You can even start running now. You can go down to the park and run. How beautiful is this, Now folks? I can go home. Glory <laughs> to God. Look at that. Hallelujah. Oh, Jesus, you are so wonderful. Look, lift your hands up to the heavens and say, thank you so much, Jesus. You may sit down now. See how easy it is? It's very simple. God is here, and you got closer to him, closer to whom? To the Lord Jesus. Let's take a look at this verse once again in Ephesians um, chapter 2, verse number 13. But now in Christ Jesus, you who once were far off have been brought near by the blood of Christ. You are not far away from God. You were far away, but now you're close to him. We need to reach out to him. And God wants you to, to receive your blessings, the beautiful blessings, so that you may go home blessed. Amen? And now it's time for the question and answer segment. Dr. Suarez, how come people who serve the who serve the Lord with so much dedication go through deprivation and other people who do not serve the Lord do not go through the same sufferings? You never generalize anything. I, for instance, have no sort of deprivation whatsoever and I serve the Lord and I know lots of other people who are becoming victorious in life. Others, they serve the Lord and are not victorious because they don't have understanding. I wrote a book called How to Take Possession of Your Blessing back in the year of 1984 because for about two years and four months I had a strong cold that wouldn't go away and I was already serving the Lord. But then I learned that I had to order the evil away and I believed and ordered and I've been free for about 30 years in the name of the Lord Jesus. There are people who do not serve the Lord, but God has still been good to them and they have been prospering. But there are many who do not serve God and are going through all kinds of deprivation that we are not. So we must never generalize everything. Let me pray for those who are at home. God, this service today was beautiful. Thank you so much because we are closer to you. Oh my God, we are so much closer to reaching your power. And how many people in the world are suffering? The service is ending for many who are watching us now. But I bless these people now and I command all evil, get out of this life in the name of Jesus.